too. Hello, hello, everybody. What's up? <laughs> <laughs> Blast from the past. Yeah, no for kidding. real. I feel like I like de-aged <laughs> a good, what is that, a decade at least? Sure. Yeah, at least. <laughs> Oh, goodness, it's Monday. Mm -hmm. How was your weekend, everyone? Not weekendy enough. <laughs> it never is. <laughs> <laughs> Do you there need more weekend though. for your weekend? Yes, yes. yes. That's a blanket, yes. Indubitably. Weekends should be at least three days. Always. Oh, good. For some strange reason, it for, like, stream elements wasn't working for me like two seconds ago, and now it's working again, so hopefully everything goes smoother than it did last week. Because <laughs> last week was fun. Not really, but, you know. Was it? <laughs> It is what it is. That is how I feel about a lot of things at this point. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna turn down my mic for a second. There we go. That's better. Hey, Corey, welcome. Hello. Hello, hello. Uh, I think we're going to get started. Okay. Looks like it's going to be a quiet night. Mm -hmm. Chill night. Uh, chill's good. <laughs> I like chill. <laughs> Greetings, curious crowd, and welcome to another Curious Fights, where we discuss what's going on behind the scenes with us, share our weekly discoveries and distractions, answer some curious cues, and more. Today is Monday, February the 8th, 2021. I am Rach, and I'm joined by Ronnie and Jams. Say hi, ladies. Hi, ladies. And of course, we have Pixel Jen with us, because Jen is busy saving lives. Yes, and we does. are having a chat show. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's kick things off with what happened in our Curious Corner. Uh, last Thursday, we were joined by the lovely Karen for our Nerds mm -hmm. RS roundtable on fan fiction. We had a wonderful chat, so we will definitely be having Karen back at some point. The uh, replay will be up on our YouTube channel sometime this week, so if you are not subscribed to our YouTube channel, please go do that. Um, I will drop the, the link into the chat. Does subscription or does apply to everything? Or is it just a newsletter? <laughs> everything. I think it applies to That's everything. That's what I thought. Okay. Uh, for our next Nerds Are Us, we will be joined by Jerome of Ginger Gaming, and we will be chatting about self-care and burnout as a streamer. So please stop by oh, this Lord. Thursday at 5 p.m. Pacific for that chat. Um, we also had a surprise Saturday stream. I did a quick run through tutorial on how we implemented our film noir uh, channel point redemption. And I did a little show and tell with some of the stickers that I got in the mail from some of our lovely people um, in the Nerds Unite community. So uh, the replay of that will also be up on our YouTube channel at some point, I think. Um, I will be keeping those tutorials um, for ourselves longer than the Nerds Are Us or our Curious Bites uh, replays, just so that I can make sure everything in those is up to par, because um, I want to ensure that the tutorials are useful for everybody, so stay on the lookout for that. Um... What else? I don't think I have anything else that I 
Is there anything else? Am I missing? That happened? Mm, no. We're just doing a lot of planning right now for Nerds R Us and like scheduling guests and stuff, but besides that. Okie dokes. Hello, Andrea! Welcome! Glad you can join us. It's gonna be a very chill Monday. Mm -hmm. Maybe uh, it's gonna calm the fuck down. Yeah. <laughs> It's been a little crazy. Hello, Bentley. It's been a day. Work away. Hello. We appreciate the lurk. Um. Hey. Oh. It's, hey, cruise. I spot a cruise. Thank you for <laughs> for thank you for redeeming the uh the film noir, Channel Point Redemption that I was just talking about. So. <laughs> you begin to interest us, vaguely. If someone can tell me what movie that's from. Uh, so yeah, um, let's move on to our What the Duck. And they were a there, were, there were a lot to choose from this uh, past week. <laughs> um, but I am going to talk about Toxic Fandom, which is always fun to talk about. Uh, and this was prompted by Zack Snyder responding to criticism that his fandom is toxic by saying, quote, In what world do does the English words, words and stuff. Okay, I got this. In what world <laughs> those this toxic fandom raise hundreds of thousands of dollars for suicide prevention? How is that a toxic fandom? They've probably achieved more than any other fan base. End quote. Okay, Zach. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat and simmer down for a second? Um, I don't know, Rachel. What 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 do you got? What do you got in your back pocket? <laughs> I just here's the thing: if someone is criticizing your fandom for doing something that is not good, um, saying that the good people in your fandom did something great isn't really addressing the toxic fan. I think that's my biggest issue with his re response to the criticism. You can have great people in your fandom that do great things, and I'm not saying that everyone is, like, toxic, but there has been such a response to this, uh, to this quote from him of people being harassed on Twitter because they said sometimes something positive about uh, Zack Snyder so by his fans so I feel like if we're in this position to address toxic fandom I feel like there there needs to be a better way of addressing it and this was not it well, it just sounds like he just didn't want to take responsibility for it. And he was just like, I just refuse to believe that it exists. Like, that was just him just, like, negating it so that he just doesn't have to directly um, respond to it. And my guess is is that he's not really in the know to what's really going on in said fandom and social media. I mean, most of these people aren't. Um, or they, they, I mean, at least they're not exposed to all the negative stuff, unless it's about them personally, because they did <laughs> so. Um, uh, it'd be nice for um, fandom leaders, or at least in leadership positions, to be a little bit more aware and um, be at least cognizant of what's going on as a whole and if uh, issues arise and if anyone's being you know a dick um and uh helping address the issue it'd take a whole like two seconds just to say something but um uh you know priorities and such um i do i i, I do like what you said about like one thing is they're not exclusive like it's like you can have good shit and bad shit at this like that's that it's called the world <laughs> so 
So it's only right that you break that down into smaller bits. So if it's a fandom, of course, it's going to have its light bits and its dark bits. So, um, get off your high horse, Zach. Join the real world for a mm -hmm. second. Um, but anyway. Yeah, and I'm not saying that he, he needs to take personal responsibility for the behavior and actions of people that are terrible. I just want him to kind of just step up and, you know, no fandom is perfect. That's just reality. But the fact that he's just kind of like not addressing, there is a problem. There is a, like, there wouldn't be the response that this quote got um if the fandom wasn't was as perfect. toxic as the initial criticism was so exactly. i just you know acknowledge it and kind of be like you know like talk to talk, these are your fans right like talk to them and be mm -hmm. like you know you can't be a fan of mine if you're going to behave this way instead of just kind of denying that it exists um yeah. Maybe I'm asking for too much. I always find when I talk about these what the ducks, I'm like, am I just asking for too much at this point? <laughs> no, I think it's um I think I think folks just get complacent and a little lazy about certain things. Mm -hmm. So um him being in the position he is I, I can understand him not wanting to, like, I guess, roll around in the mud or whatever, but de completely denying it or denying its its existence is not exactly helpful. So, anyway. Yeah. And I'm not trying to s single out Zach in any way. This problem is bigger than just this. I feel like, especially in the nerd community, um that needs to be dealt with there there is so much bigger issues in in the um in the community that just does it yeah i feel like we can have a whole nerds are us talking about i think we can have multiple nerds are us round tables talking about toxic fandom and um how we get out of this uh mess that has been years and years and years of uh that's been perpetuated for that long so it's yeah. there's there i don't think there is like a single Example number one don't deny it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I think that's step one. So. Um, yeah. Crew says Twitch fandom question mark. Yeah, it's the Twitch fandom can be quite toxic. Um, I feel like, again, that's a whole nother round table altogether. Um, okay, let's let's move on. We will revisit this at some point. This is this is just, you know, something that came up on my news feed and I feel like it's important to take responsibility. Touch on. Uh, hi, Dave. Welcome on in. Hey, Johnny. What's up? Can't stay, but what I have to say hi, but wanted to say hi. <laughs> thanks, for say. thanks for dropping by. <laughs> That's a that's a fun autocorrect. I uh yeah. it is. Um let's move on to our <laughs> curious queue of the week. <laughs> Always the hard questions. And our curious queue of the week yeah. is care of Danielle Nikki. And she and she asks, pretending you have any say on this, would you prefer your streaming show's episodes to be released weekly or all at once? And why? I'm going to throw that question over to the chat as well if you have any thoughts on this. Yeah, I'm curious what the peeps got to say. For me, I think it depends. Damn, take it first. I think it depends on, like, the length of an episode and the number of episodes in a season if it's a show where the episodes are quick but there are a lot of episodes like 15 or something then i'd rather have them be all up at once so that i can binge it but if it's like 
a sh show where the episodes are a little bit longer, but you don't get as many in a season, then I'm I'm okay with it being weekly because and you kind of get a little breather in between each episode and it leaves you anticipating the next one a little bit more, I think. So your your so I, preference is based on the format in which the show comes in. Yeah. Yeah, I think there's a place for both formats. Mm -hmm. Ronnie, what I about agree. you? I think it's yeah, I, I it, comparable. I, I think there, it's a case by case basis, just depending on um, some some shows are just and, and and this is what makes it difficult on deciding one way or another because um, like it, in order to like make that decision and like have that discerning, it's so like individual. It's like case by case. For someone who to determine, oh, this show would be perfect for this format, and the show would be perfect for this other format, because it's, it's totally an individual decision. But, uh, but I, I do think that um, some shows are better at being like a weekly situation uh, versus all at once. Um, a good example of um, one that's like a recent release, WandaVision. Mm -hmm. I know Disney Plus is like into the whole the, universally into the weekly release for all of their new shows but um it's really really easy for someone to lose interest when you're world building for like and you have really slow episodes at the start of your show um so i can i can imagine that unless that social media hype is there where people are like freaking out um and uh spoiling it for everybody really really early um giving like motivating people to go back and like watch a new episode or whatever i could see if if that wasn't a part of the mix people would have just dropped off um or, or forgotten about it or just weren't motivated to continue watching so um so yeah i could i could see i i, I see a case for both um I feel like I would have had a conniption if they had released Bridgerton weekly. <laughs> <laughs> I enjoy binging the shit out of that. So, so yeah, I don't know. Um, I can't pick one over the other. Yeah, I've it, it. This this question is just it's so difficult to choose. I I'm with Jamie. I think on the format. Um, it, like it really depends on if it's a shorter sh episode show, um, if it's a shorter episode. I kind of want to just keep going because the momentum is there, and I have short term memory, so it it just makes more sense for me to be able to binge it. Um, but I I also understand like you know the anticipation of waiting the week and like you know having a a set date for. Um, for a specific show. It's like it's like an appointment and you get to sit down and like enjoy it and I don't know. It's it's a it's a tough one. Mm -hmm. Uh Crew says weekly, build that suspense. Dave says I appreciate the weekly releases too. I like to savor something I enjoy, like food. Agreed. Mm -hmm. Uh mm -hmm. and then Chris says or <laughs> or air it weekly and out of order. I love Firefly. <laughs> too soon too soon is it it is okay it'll it'll always be too soon agreed agreed <laughs> Alrighty. let's move on to our discoveries and distractions uh jen sent us her one distraction which was Super Bowl related, but obviously because it's Jen, it's not really Super Bowl related. <laughs> <laughs> yes. All she says is, um, yes, please. I would want in on that. Can we also include the food they show on air that the hosts eat, get to eat? Biscuits, gravy, and fried chicken. Drool face. <laughs> Priorities, Jen. Priorities. Yes. They are intact. Team carbs always. Mm. <laughs> Indeed. Ah, uh, yes. 
So my first oh. D&D um, Servant is on its second season. I enjoyed the first season very much, so I was very happy that it's back. And there are four episodes up right now, and it is delightfully creepy and mysterious, and it's very interesting to see things as they are unraveling. It's quite a show. It's on... Um, Apple TV Plus, and quite honestly, this is probably the only show on Apple TV Plus that I watch, but it's, it's uh, really good. Jams, I'm going to have to interrupt you for a second. We're being raided by Sully. <laughs> oh my. What in God's name is happening? Whoa. Oh my God. God. Um, hi, everybody. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> uh, I just, on? I'm just going to... This is crazy. Oh my god. Thank you so oh much, Sully, yeah. for the raid. Hi, hi everybody. Um, if you are unfamiliar Hello. with Hello. us, uh, we are Nerdy Curious. Uh, we blog, pod, and stream. Um, we have a weekly chat show on Mondays, and so you just came in at a very good time because we have a segment called Discoveries and Distractions, um, and we talk about what has kept us distracted over the week so thank you so much oh my goodness this is crazy i don't even know what to say um uh, oh <laughs> whenever we get raided there is a raid song um <laughs> this was written by the lovely kina granis who is also a streamer she's a musician on on twitch and she gave us she gave everybody the permission to sing this song so i'm gonna sing this and hopefully i don't forget the words but Oh my god. <laughs> my notifications are going- okay. <laughs> oh my gosh, we're being raided. We're all so happy you made it. Everyone is yelling things. Look at all these human beings. Oh my gosh, we're being raided. Where's my snack? Oh, Jen, she ate it. Having you is such a dream. Welcome to the stream. Yay! Thank you so much. Oh my god, you guys what is happening? <laughs> oh, this is crazy. I don't know where we were with our discoveries and distractions because I am very distracted right now. <laughs> Jams was talking about a creepy show. Yes, I was <laughs> talking about Servant. Yeah. Uh, Jumps, thank you for the gifted sub to Sully. Okay, let's go back to thank Servant. <laughs> oh my goodness. Jams. So. Okay, so it is an M. Night Shyamalan show, and you know how yeah. how his stuff is. It's always got to have a twist. Um, uh -huh. The basic premise of the show, without giving away too much, is about um, this couple dealing with the grief of losing their infant son, and then... It just goes from there. I I don't want to say too much. There's a doll. It's it's creepy. And okay. There's, yeah. <laughs> so, give it a watch. It's a little weird. It's a little at times like, huh? But it's it's good. Definitely. Yeah. <laughs> you know how I feel about uh, dolls. <laughs> Yes, I know. So I'm finally on the Snowpiercer bandwagon, and I love it. Rich and I finally started watching the first season, and it's it's so good. I haven't seen the movie, but... Oh, you still haven't seen the movie yet? Mm -hmm. Nope. Okay. Okay. I think we're like, what, two or three episodes into the show now? You get to see a whole lot of David mm. in the best way possible. Mm. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> I had a moment. <laughs> My bad. Do we need to like give you give you a minute 
or <laughs> no I, I had the minute it's fine <laughs> it's all right uh 28 so, yeah. savage day says servant is so good toby kebble and hearts um mm -hmm. worship says something else i can watch besides ted lasso yeah there's there's not many ted lasso. there's not many uh series that i know that are on apple plus so good rex mm -hmm. and i haven't seen the snowpiercer movie either yet i know bad <laughs> girls mm -mm. it's on the list I know. <laughs> it's I on know. the list <laughs> I have a long list too so I can't talk oh this must be Ronnie <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah <laughs> alright so I'm very upset that I cannot purchase this at the moment because uh, adulting is sucking the life out of me uh, quite literally but, um, I mean, Galactus is my boy. I have a, a very, very fond relationship with him. And um, when Rach sent me this little, this little announcement, um, thanks, Rach, for tor the torture, because I can't purchase him. Uh, mm. But look at the fucking tiny surfer. Like, <laughs> come on. I didn't even notice him at first. Yes. <laughs> He's, I mean, uh, <laughs> it's just the cutest freaking thing. And um, he's got like his little like sassy grim face on because, uh, you know, he's hungry. <laughs> I just, I freaking love Galactus. Um, so yeah, I'm just, I I'm bummed I can't have it. But guys, go buy him so I can live vicariously. Vicariously? Yeah, there you go. Um, yes. <laughs> that's me I thought you said vicariously and I was like is that supposed to be a pun or am I just hearing things it's a new word <laughs> it just came out that way <laughs> um, so th this isn't actually about um, the, the video of the um, the uh, collision of the two galaxies. This is just a general um, announcement on uh, this particular account, Hoax Eye. So this guy is like taking it upon himself to um, kind of like scour the interwebs and whatever is going viral or is being like overly shared or whatever. He basically like debunks it and like finds its origins and shares it with people. And the majority of the time, it's usually um like a photoshop image or some sort of cgi and he always hashtags respect artists similarly to how he has a hashtag there um because obviously all of these images just get shared and people don't credit the original makers etc cetera, etc cetera. um and a lot of them are just artistic expression so um uh, i'm i'm really enjoying i've been following him for like about a month now and um it's been uh it's been good just kind of uh getting like the quick like he he usually like captures stuff that's like trending on that day randomly um and kind of updates it so um uh so yeah um i highly recommend following him or there there are a few other comparable accounts that post like true based images or like they do the research that everyone else is too lazy to do. <laughs> so um pick something <laughs> and follow it so that you know you're, you're if you're gonna retweet something it's like the real deal uh cruise actually i don't know if you're still here but um your, your little um busty uh uh i don't know what it was a wasp or something that was a photoshop image <laughs> So, because that was trending a while ago. I remember when you shared that and I was just like, that can't possibly be real. And it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> so anyway. Tangent. Uh, going back to Galactus, Sully said that yeah. should have no problem finding this one months from now. They made 20 or 30k of him. Um, but okay. appar apparently that, uh, that the pre-orders have already been sold out for the 20k. I don't know if that's true or not, but apparently someone said in the chat that it's possible. 
Um, hello, I'm Priscilla. Welcome. Uh, oh my gosh, the chat is moving so quickly, so I'm so sorry if I've missed your messages, but uh, respect artists. Yes. <laughs> yeah, Sully, what the hell? How do you do this? <laughs> and then Ronnie has a bonus. Yeah, props to you. Woo. Oh, yes. Um, so, I mean, you guys know I'm, like, jonesing to travel or, you know, just leave. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. um, that's not happening anytime soon. But for the longest, we've actually been planning on um, going to... Uh, uh japan for uh the longest i don't even remember what year we were talking about <laughs> now because it's been a while since we've talked about it um i think what was it 23 22 24 yeah Something. at some point it was yeah, supposed to be next point. year uh, which is probably just... yeah it was supposed to be next year <laughs> so it's supposed to be 22 uh, okay that's not gonna happen no um either way um this is uh the prototype for house moving castle for uh the jubilee park which is slated i believe to open i i had it in my notes and i don't have them handy but i think it's slated to open in 2023 if i'm not mistaken so um further reason to push it a little bit further um mm -hmm. but this looks epic i mean look at the scale uh, I'm going to, ob obviously all of this stuff is going to be in our newsletter and I'll share the, the link um, for the full article because there's like so many renderings and it's just going to be absolutely gorgeous. Um, so yeah, I can't, I can't wait to immerse myself in that world at some point. So. Uh, Priscilla says, will collectors fight over this proto question mark? LOL. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dave I is wondering <laughs> if it will move. And yeah. uh, Movie yeah. Man, I am looking forward to that Nintendo world. Can't wait until it comes to Universal Studios Hollywood. Oh. I don't think I'm familiar with Nintendo world. Have you guys heard news about that? Mm -hmm. Just briefly. I don't, I don't know the deets, but yeah. I've heard speculations. I don't know, like, actual yeah. details. Gotcha. Okay, so this is my first D&D. &D. Um, and when we say D&D, &D, we mean discovery and distraction, not the, not the game. Uh, <laughs> for anyone who's new around here. Um, so my first D&D &D is uh, Finding Ohana, which is a movie on Netflix. Um, it's been touted as like a Goonies slash Indiana Jones, but set in Hawaii. Um, it has a lot of adventure and like, you know, treasure hunting, which is always fun and beautiful, beautiful landscape views of Hawaii. But I think the biggest selling point for me about the movie is the story about family and um, kind of just like Hawaiian traditions for family. Um, it was really emotional for me. I, I, I hate to admit it, but I cried a lot in this in this film. Um, I, I highly recommend you oh. check it out, though. It is just a beautiful, beautiful movie. Um, emotional, but beautiful. <laughs> Cruise. He's... Cruz says, Hawaii, I want to go there one day. Christopher. <laughs> Christopher. <laughs> Weren't you in Hawaii every single time we had Comic-Con? Yeah. <laughs> so my second discovery and distraction is actually Priscilla, who is in the chat right now, um, Valorant Vellum. She revealed her very first figurine that she is designing called Sune, um, who is adorable, as you can tell from the picture. Um, I am super excited for her. I feel like this is going to fly off the shelves. She will not be able to keep um, any inventory on hand. Uh, so if you are not following Priscilla, please, please, please do. Um, all of the details on on Sune is on all of her 
websites and social media. I will drop a link in the chat if I can unfreeze my chat screen right now. No? <laughs> yes? Maybe? Okay. Technical gremlins, everyone. Technical gremlins. Um, eventually, it will show up in chat. Hopefully. Oh, there we go. Yes? No? All right. I'm going to move on, but please <laughs> follow Priscilla, aka Valor and Vellum. <laughs> I'm really good at this, guys. There we go. There it is. I'm really good at this. Okay. Yes. It just, uh, takes a, it just takes a second. Dave dropping those take my money emotes. Exactly. I, if I could <laughs> throw toonies and loonies at her, I would. Uh, mm. It would hurt, so please duck, but. <laughs> And then my bonus, which I had to sneak oh, in last God. minute, was the uh, trailer for The Falcon and the Winter Soldier, which looks to me like it's just going to be couples therapy and some action. That's what I got <laughs> from the trailer. Um, I'm super That's excited. That's all I wanted. Yeah. <laughs> the trailer was like not That's enough. That's all I wanted. I just, I want the show now. <laughs> And actually, in honor of the show, I am wearing my, uh, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it is my Cap Winter Soldier earrings. Oh, cool. Yeah. Nice. So I am so, so excited. There are no words to describe how I... excited I am. Can we, like... Y'all know how I feel about Mackie, but like he looks ridiculous. Like it's it's just like it's just obscene at this point. Like he's just <laughs> like like nobody we should be that fine. I'm just saying, <laughs> like it's just not acceptable. But more power to him. I look forward to looking at him. <laughs> so I too Detail. look forward to looking at him. Yes. Um I've been very, very privileged to, to go to cons as, as press, and we actually got to go to Ace Con where um, Mackie and uh, Stan were there, and so we got a photo op with the two of them. And I'm happy to report that both of them smell amazing. Oh my god. <laughs> I got a, pro a proper cuddle. Y'all don't even know. <laughs> it's, a, it's a wondrous thing. Wondrous. I, hi I highly recommend it if you get the chance to get a cuddle. Do it. <laughs> uh, Movie Man says, happy to see Zemo back as a villain, too. Yes. Mm -hmm. I'm a big a fan villain, of uh, so Daniel Bruhl. I think, I think he's a very underrated actor. And he is fantastic totally in is. everything he's in. So I'm excited. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Jump says... Sir, you are unacceptably hot. Exactly. You understand. That's true. That is accurate. Yes. You understand. <laughs> uh, so you guys can check out all of our discoveries and distractions if you subscribe to our shiny newsletter that Ron that Ronnie painstakingly puts together every week on Sunday. Um, and we'll send all of our DDs right into your inbox. Um, I can drop a link to the chat. Uh, subscription or death. That is our that is our or saying that. around here. <laughs> just so you know, just so you know, you've come to one of those channels. <laughs> uh, Movie Man said last con I went to was D twenty three Expo in twenty nineteen. Oh, D twenty three, yes, that's that's a fantastic con. I miss cons. I never thought I'd ever say that, but. I miss cons. Yeah, because for a while, I feel like we were all starting to get a little burnt out on them. <laughs> and now, yeah. I miss them. Yeah. I miss the people. I want to I say for like the last three years, we were like burnt, getting burnt out on them. And then um, like we, we would at least space them out to where we had like one or two a year. Uh, but yeah, now it's just like after all the chaos from last year. It's as soon as they take something away from you, though, mm -hmm. and you're like, but that thing. <laughs> so, yeah. I look forward to it when we can get back to it. Agreed. I, I can't wait to just see everyone and give everybody a hug. That is, that's the, that's at the top of my list of things to do. 
Mm-hmm. And Scotland. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so our final That's segment. <laughs> Scotland. <laughs> Anytime you drop Scotland into the chat, the Scottish flag will appear by Ronnie's face because she is obsessed with Scotland. <laughs> There's also a drinking game that you guys can do if you really want to get shit faced. <laughs> <laughs> the yeah. secret drinking game. That's not very secret. <laughs> um, okay, so no. the last segment of our chat show on Mondays is our spotlight shout outs where we like to we like to end our show with some awesome positive energy, uh, something that I've picked up from Sully's uh, channel. So we just want to, you know, Shout out some awesome people within our community that deserve the praise. Uh, so my first spotlight shout out goes to Yoko for reaching affiliate recently on Twitch. She does unboxings and she blings figurines. So if you need some sparkle in your life, uh, please give Yoko a follow. Um, I'm going to drop her information into the chat. And again, it doesn't want to do it so it'll show up at some point um i'd also like to give a spotlight shout out to lucrative um who is a twitch tips streamer um she has a twitch tip school and honestly i think she's one of the best uh teachers out there explaining all the fun functionality built into Streamlabs obs um if you are not familiar with us, we actually use OBS Studio with uh, Stream Elements, but she goes into a very great deep dive into Streamlabs OBS. So if you are using Streamlabs, um, I highly suggest checking Lucrative out. Um, and they have just some of like, the best tips out there to uh, help build your channel and build your brand. So those are my shout outs. Ronnie, Jams, do you guys have any spotlights you would like to? Um, I want to send a, a shout out to Ed again for being uh, the epic person he is. He always answers all of our newsletter questions and uh, continues to do so pretty consistently. He says he enjoys doing it. Ed, don't feel obligated to do it. <laughs> but um, I love you for doing so. Um, and uh, he will be receiving a special prize for having a uh, caught a not so subtle hint um in one of our newsletters which will occasionally happen so um you know it's nice to be um thorough when you're reading stuff and uh and yeah he's gonna get rewarded for for that so um i we've contacted him and and he knows it's uh it's coming so congrats to ed for for being an awesome supportive person we are very very lucky to um have the folks that we do in in our community so thanks for being awesome yeah hearts for ed and jessica who are who have been supporting us pretty much from the beginning and we've been around for uh, it will be six years this year i think so thank you thank you thank you Mm -hmm. jams um shout out to the curious crowd all the people in the chat especially the ones that are somehow here for every single live stream you guys are awesome you make this worth doing you are the main reason why we keep doing this every week um Mm -hmm. definitely makes things a lot more fun and interesting when we have that interaction with all of you So thank you all for being awesome human beings. Indeed. Indeed. Oh, hi, Yoko. And you're very welcome. Did we manifest her? (laughs) (laughs) We manifested. You deserve all the (laughs) follows. Um, Thank you, Dave, for gifting Yoko a sub. You guys are the best. Seriously, thank you so much. This this means this means a lot to us. It feels like we're doing something right if we have um, you guys as part of our community. And and obviously a big spotlight shout out to to Sully for the raid. That was so generous and so kind. So thank you. Um, 
yeah, that's 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 a wrap on this week's Curious Bites. Uh, thank you as always to everyone who joined us in the chat today. We appreciate all of your support. Um, we are at Nerdy Curious all over the damn place, but mostly on Twitter. Uh, please stick with us. We're gonna find someone to raid. Um, I do have the raid message saved as a command. So, oh, what happened? Oh. It looks like we've been pixeled. Uh, th thank you, Cruz, for the <laughs> pixeling. <Hello>, Christopher. <laughs> this is what happens when our friends save up way too many channel points and just want to, like, make us suffer. <laughs> yeah. So we Seriously. are going to be way our pixels. Watching, Chris. <laughs> we are going to be pixels for a minute. So, yeah, uh, I dropped the raid messages in the chat. If you are a subscriber, you can copy and paste that first message. If you are not a subscriber, you can copy and paste the second message. Um, let me find someone to raid while we are our pixel images. Cruz has 5,000 left. You have 5,000 channel points? Do you have I, have I have over 10,000. Oh, my God. 33,000, so... <laughs> Um, it looks like Ryan's on, Robbie's on, Celine's on. Let's send things over to Robbie Juice. Um, he is okay. wonderful uh, gaming gamer streamer. <laughs> I can speak English, <laughs> you know, talk show stuff and <laughs> words, words and words stuff. stuff. Um, so let's click on Robbie, Robbie Juice. Please give him a follow if you aren't following him already. I think he's playing Fall Guys. I'm not 100% sure. Yes, yes, he's playing Fall Guys. Cool. Oh, and his lovely wife is with him. So please give him a follow if you haven't. I'm going to start the raid now. I do love that clench. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that, that butt clench emote is... Probably one of my favorites. Also, the he has a new uh, crab rave uh, emote, where there's a little crab and he has the mm. Beat Saber uh, light sticks in his hand. It's so great. Is it working? <laughs> is it working? Uh, is something happening? I think it is, yeah. Okay. Ah, I'm assuming. I can't see. This is OBS is great yeah, and it's, everything, it's, it's but still down. okay, cool. Um, so yeah, uh, a reminder that our next stream will be this Thursday, um, 5 p.m. Pacific. We'll be talking with Jerome on self-care and streaming and burnout. So um, if you are a streamer and want to uh, have a therapy session, please come on by. Um, until then, if you have to go out, please remember to wear a mask. Don't be a dick and stay curious. Bye, everybody. Bye. Bye. Awkward turtle. This is how I awkward turtle out of here. <laughs> Bye, Sol. Thanks again. You're the best. Mm. We love you. Hearts. Indeed. We love you guys. All the hearts.